Hello Anonymous and welcome to the fifth tutorial unit. Here we will show you how to distribute and promote your videos on the internet. Let us start with the three general channels of distribution. First, directly through video platforms such as YouTube. Second, indirectly as source file. And third, as a combination of both. There are plenty of video platforms around. A large list of links is provided in the description of this video. We will discuss in detail the largest one, YouTube, two minor ones that offer special advantages which YouTube doesn't, Vimeo and Blip TV, and then scratch the surface of a few others. Before you begin with the distribution of your video on the video platforms, you have to properly label, describe, and tag your video for easy reuse every time you upload it. When you name the video, choose titles that sum up the most important information, what it's about in short terms like Bring the Lulz, Anonymous Operation Tubes, June 13th, Some Town Trailer, or German DNS Blocklist, Anonymous Leak. The description should be short, easy to read and well structured with paragraphs containing links to the places you want people to go for additional information or to support your actions. If you have a long speech part in your video, add the transcription to your description. For maximum effect within YouTube, search tag your video with catchy tags that are related to it, like anonymous, leak, trailer, and so on. It is tempting to use unrelated tags like sexy, hot, blonde, and so on. This will increase your view count, but it will also annoy other users and might result in a flagging attack on your video, an overall negative response, or even removal of it due to terms of service violation. Use wrong tags only if you are aware of the consequences. With all preparation done and saved, we will continue. All of the video platforms will require you to open up a user account to upload your videos. To do so, you will need an email address. While for general anonymous usage, trash mail is a good choice, the major platforms will not recognize this as a valid email account. Valid providers are googlemail.com or gmail.com as well as hotmail.com, yahoo.com, or gmx.net. To protect your identity, do not use an email address of a personal domain that can be tracked back to you easily. After you have registered, or if you already own a free anonymous email address, we can proceed. YouTube is by far the biggest place around, and although there are lots of issues with its terms of service, and the flagging and rating system is far beyond buggy and exploitable. It is here where you will get the most overall views. First, to upload a video, you need to register an account. Click on Register to do so. It is similar to the email registration process. Fill the required fields, submit, and then check your mail to click on the confirmation link. Now, log in to upload your video. This process will repeat in nearly the same fashion at all the video platforms you will encounter. We recommend opening two or more accounts on each platform. One for your self-produced safe videos, a second for risky videos like leaks or videos you do not entirely know the copyright situation, and third, in case one of your previous accounts gets suspended, this will ensure that you will never lose all of your videos. YouTube offers you two different upload types, the single upload or the browser-based multi-upload with Google Gears. The name says it all. If you have one file, use the single uploader. If you have more files that shall be uploaded unattended, you want to use the batch uploader. Choose the file to upload and copy your prepared title, description, and tags into the appropriate fields. If you upload with default settings, 
Your video will be converted when the upload is finished and automatically published. Normally, that is what you want. But there may be situations when you do not want your videos to be published right away. It might always happen that one of your accounts is closed due to a video that might have unintentionally violated the terms of service. That would also mean all other videos are lost and if you had a lot of them, it would be very painful to upload them again. So you open up a backup account as already mentioned above and upload all your videos marked as private. Your account will seem empty to everyone but you. If you lose one of your primary accounts, you only set the videos on your secondary to public. Easy, fast, efficient. YouTube has a speciality. If a video is identified as copyright infringement, its audio or even the whole video will be deactivated. Upon re-uploading, it will be recognized by the system and automatically blocked. Re-encoding does not help. Only a change in the video itself, like adding up a few seconds in an editing tool or re-editing the sound by running it through a sound filter. Do not waste your time uploading blocked videos. Change them or use another platform. Vimeo is another platform of choice. Its video quality and upload interface of single videos are clearly superior to YouTube. You will not find a better overall quality than Vimeo. Vimeo also offers the download of the original source file to your viewers. This greatly helps you to distribute your work. There are some drawbacks though. There is an upload limit of 500 MB per week and if you material violates the terms of service, your account will be closed without warning. Blip TV is also recommended for video upload. They offer a free cross-platform multi-uploader as standalone Java application. It is very convenient and offers the application of the title, description or tags to multiple videos by a simple click. Overall quality is also good and the user base is bigger than Vimeo, which is also a real advantage. If you have had problems with the terms of service on one of these platforms, Rutube.ru is the place to go. They don't care about anything. Now that your video is in place, we can begin to promote it.